Hi, welcome back. This is Yon Ferrer. Today, we'll teach you how to make simple and effective animated text to enhance your videos. Let's enter the Vinci Resolve. Let's do the typewriter animation. Let's place video clip in layer 1. Let's select text and place it in layer 2. Let's go to the inspector and type San Juanico Bridge. Let's change our font. Let's select our color. Let's add the drop shadow. Go back to the text icon. Scroll down. Go to write on. Let's adjust write on. Let's go to the start and create a keyframe. After two seconds, let's create another keyframe. Now we've done a typewriter effect. Let's do the reveal text animation. Go to transform and select rotation. Move the Y-axis wheel to the desired position and put a keyframe. Move again the cursor to the desired timeline and set again the Y-axis wheel to zero. Now we're done with the reveal text animation. Let's do the heartbeat animation. Import video clips. Let's place text to the second layer. Let's go to the inspector and type heartbeat. Copy the second layer and put it on the third layer. Go to the inspector, change the size of the third layer. Let's go to layer three and cut every four frames. Let's go to layer two and make the same cut as layer three. And we delete alternately the cut frames. Then let's play back. Now we have a heartbeat. Now let's dip into a simple fusion animation. Under the effects library, select effects tab and choose fusion composition. Drag fusion composition, place to layer 1. Let's go to the fusion tab. Now let's go to the text plus mode and drag it down. Let's connect it to the media out. Then let's type Mayan Volcano. Now let's change the font. Let's change the size. And let's change the tracking. Add drop shadow to the text. Go back to the text icon. Right click and select follower. After selecting the follower, it will enable the modifier tab. Click the modifier tab. Let's click order. Let's go to random but one by one. Now let's change the delay amount. Let's click on the shading tab. Let's go to the position and change the value. At the 60 frame mark, let's make the offset Z at zero value. Let's click the keyframe for offset Z. Now let's go to zero frames. Let's adjust the offset Z until no text will appear in the screen. When the keyframe turns red, it's already activated. Now let's check our animation by scrubbing the timeline. Now let's add a rotation. Let's go to 60 frames. Let's turn on the keyframe on 60 frames. Now let's go back to the start at 0 frames. Let's adjust Y. And let's try it again. Now let's check our animation from 0 frames up to 60 frames. Now let's go to the softness. Click on the softness tab. Go to the 60 frames. Click the keyframe on Y. Click the keyframe on X. Go to the start or 0 frames. Let's adjust X in the softness. Let's adjust Y in the softness. Then let's crop the video to see the softness. Dragging left to right to see the animation from 0 frames to 60 frames. Go back to the Tools tab. Click Shading icon. Click Position. Go to 60 frames. Put a keyframe on the offset Z. Go to frame 0. 
Adjust Z until the shadow disappears on the screen. Click Rotation. Go to 60 frames. Put a keyframe on Rotation Z. Go to frame 0. Adjust the Rotation Z. Now we made a fly-in text animation in DaVinci Resolve. Place the Fusion Clip on Layer 2. Place the Background Clip at Layer 1. And let's see the animation. On our next video, we'll teach you how to make animated graphics in Fusion. So watch out for that! Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell. Thank you!